Yeah. Oh, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I was trying to vlog him in his new trick of sitting up unassisted. Say, so, yeah, I can do it for brief periods of time, but for safety, we're only doing it on the bed and my mat now. Um, like, he can sit there for a while like that, but then he decides to throw up, so we lay him down and let his tummy settle. Do you have your new pajamas on from Miss Irene? <gasps> do you? Say, we love them. They're so soft and cozy, and they fit perfectly. Room to grow, too. They're so awesome. They're so awesome. Yes. You enjoying your munch mitt? Are you enjoying your munch mitt? My mama makes some food for you. You guys, this thing is awesome. I've seen a few YouTubers have it. Um, and I've been like, oh, I bet Jackson would like that. But it also I've discovered now it keeps him from sticking his finger down his throat and making himself throw up. So it's all bumpy so they can gum on it. And then uh, it put it, you just put it on like that, and you it's not like I like it because it doesn't it's not like the elastic stuff. You can adjust this. Somebody needs water. I'll get you water in a second, baby. You can adjust this so that it's not like elastic on their hands or anything. So like you pick the size, but it's not too tight. He's had this thing a couple days, and he's like obsessed with it. And um, let's see, what did it come with? Oh, I was gonna show you guys. It came with this like really cute carrying pouch for like your diaper bag. So we're pretty obsessed with this. We've been using it a few days. Do you love it? Do you love it? Amber wants her own munch mitt. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. You can get it at like Bye Bye. I've seen it at Bye Bye Baby for sure. I don't know about Babies R Us, but you can also get it online. Um, but uh, it's that so good. Say so we love it. We're pretty obsessed with this. It's been a great solution to keeping me from sticking my finger down my throat and making myself throw up. So I don't know if you have a baby. I wish I had gone ahead and got it at three months um, when he starts sticking his fingers in his mouth. But he's pretty obsessed with it. I think even Liam, um, my, you guys know my godson who is about to be nine months old. I even think he would like this. And I, I think I put it out, it crinkles too, so it's like a toy. Do you love your munch mitt? Do you love it? Isn't the best thing ever? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, mommy's gonna make you breakfast. Oh yeah, I wanted to tell you guys just too about the munch mitt. Machine washable. That is awesome because a lot of baby teether stuff is not machine washable. It's only hand washable. So um, I think the instructions are on here for Washing, I think it's just um, like gently washing. Um, anyways, like on your, let's see, where is it? I swear I saw it. Um, on gentle wash, dry on low. Anyway, I want to point that out because it's always nice when something like a baby toy is washable. Especially when you have a GERD baby that vomits on everything. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's just some more information on it. I think we are pretty obsessed. What do you think? You take it out of your mouth? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You love your munch mitt. You love your munch mitt. See Amber? She's talking to you. She's talking to you. Oh, that's lovely. You see Amber? She's talking. She's talking to you. She says, hi, Jackson. Is that your Berber? Is it your puppy? Say, okay, I am dressed for the day. I am dressed for the day. <clears throat> um, I don't think I've really said, I don't think I've actually said this in a vlog. Um, so he got over the, well, you guys know he had the rotavirus that he got from the rota vaccine. And um, he also, uh, was it yesterday or, um, what is yesterday? Yesterday was Monday. Justin had to take off. Um, I'll tell you guys more about that in a minute. But um, Sunday night he developed a cough. And I don't know if y'all can hear him breathe. Um, he's breathing. He's got lots of snot. 
So he ended up going to his doctor after having the virus, and we, th- we called and said, we think he has a cold, and say, I have a cold, but I'm still the happiest baby ever. I think the rotavirus stuff's getting better, though. We're having less and less, hi, Ralph, less and less diarrhea um, and vomiting and stuff, but now he's got this cold. <laughs> now you got the cold, but the doctor said, as long as we stay fever-free, we can go to our makeup swim class Thursday. So we just have to stay fever free. Yes. Okay. Sorry, it's dark. Is that better? Um, we are going to my doctor's now. I have a specialist appointment and I kind of wanted to cancel it since he's sick. <laughs> like, first he had that had the Rosa virus, which made him susceptible to getting sick. And then he got a cold from somewhere, which I don't know where because we don't go anywhere. He's been sick. We haven't taken him anywhere. <laughs> So I don't even know. Um, So, yeah, I called and just talked to the nurse because I told her, um, my specialist nurse, that it's my rheumatologist. I was like, I know it's like months out to reschedule an appointment, but my son is sick. um, And so I'm kind of leery. But she said the way that they rebuilt the building is that the rheumatologist area of the building is like separate from where all the sick people go to see their doctors. And that even though they can't like promise they'll see me early, they'll put me in a room when I get there so that he's not around any germs. So I'm going to go ahead and go to that appointment. So we're going to go do that. And then if it's not pouring down rain, we're probably going to go into Whole Foods and try to find some organic butternut squash. Butternut is so funny. Um, I'm going to try over the next couple days to make some foods for him and freeze them. I think we're going to, I'm going to make peas tonight for him to try tomorrow. But um, I definitely want him to try butternut squash after peas and then maybe carrots. I still have not introduced any fruits to him because it's not like it's not it's not a nutritional thing. It's food is fun till the first year is done. So it's not like he needs these fruits for this nutritional value. Um, So I'm choosing to introduce all the vegetables he can have first and then introduce some fruits. Yeah. So you get a taste for your veggies. That's important for a vegetarian baby. Yeah, it is. So far, he loves, like, his veggies. We haven't introduced anything new while he had this virus. So peas is going to be the first thing tomorrow that's new. So far, he's been loving sweet potato and avocado. Avocado is technically a fruit, but it's not a sweet one, if you know what I mean. Hi. Hi. I don't think you have enough toys. I don't think you have enough toys. (laughs) All these toys... All these toys, all mommy needed was a munch mitt. Mm. Yeah, is that fun? Somebody passed out. I feel so bad for bringing him now. I mean, he just woke up from a nap before we came. I guess he still just needs more sleep. Oh, it is way darker than I thought it would be. <laughs> Say hi, YouTube friends. On the, uh, we went to the doctor, and on the way back, there was traffic, but pretty much as he's got his hand on my shirt, <laughs> pinching my boob. Somebody's hungry. <laughs> wow. He, yeah. um... <laughs> Sounds like the dog's just gotten a tiff. Justin's yelling. Um, so, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, on the way home from the doctor, he um, was having a meltdown, like, in the car. He was fine, and we got in the car, and we started moving, and he just started freaking out. So I pulled over to make sure, like, he like wasn't stuck in something or like there wasn't something around his toe, like under his sock or just like anything that could possibly be wrong. And then I was like, let me check his diaper. Maybe he like pooped and it's burning his bottom because he still has diarrhea. No, his diaper was dry. So I'm like, okay, it had like a little bit of pee. So I just changed it anyway. So we get back on the road. We're driving. He's still crying and like fussing. But like the first time I pulled over, as soon as he saw me, he was like, ha! <laughs> and like smiling and stuff. 
So then we're driving and I'm like, God, is he hungry? And maybe he's hungry again sooner because he's getting better. I don't know. So I pull over again. I like make a bottle. I get in the back to feed him. And he's not even really eating that. Hello. He's not even really eating that much. He, he's just um, playing with it and laughing and giggling and smiling at me. And so I gave him a few minutes. And I was like, hey, yeah, drink your milk if you're hungry. And no, and then he seemed fine. So I start driving. I get, I get out of the car, start getting in the front, start driving. Get, oh, the meltdown just continued. Like the whole way like home. He just melted down. And I think he just, because he doesn't feel good, he just wanted, like, to see me and, like, be next to me and stuff. And, you know, obviously, I'm driving. <laughs> so it was really, really sad because he was fine at the doctors. We weren't there that long at all. They got me in really quick. I saw my doctor. He refilled my meds. We talked about, like, how my fibro's been because I haven't seen him since I was pregnant, basically, because um, I had to see a specialist when you're pregnant and dealing with pain and stuff. Um, I almost got hip injections today because my hips have really been hurting from my bursitis. But um, I decided that I would rather do that at an appointment where Jackson wasn't there because it's um, it's it's not, it's not like super time consuming, but like I have to lay on my side and they have to take this giant needle and they have to get it right into my hip joints. Um, so it's not something I really want to have him there for when I can't, like, be right there in case he needs me. So I'm going to have to do that on a day when somebody can babysit him or maybe you can just hang out with Daddy one day if Daddy has a day off. So that's what happened at my appointment. My phone situation is T-Mobile was supposed to overnight me that replacement phone and they didn't. So I wiped everything on this phone, all my old pictures and stuff after backing them up. Yeah, and it's, um, maybe I'm able to video again and take some pictures, but it keeps crashing. So there's been a few times I've been vlogging today where I've had to re-vlog what I was vlogging because it just crashed on me. But the new phone's supposedly going to be here tomorrow, so we'll see. Munchmit in the car seat, Munchmit at bath time. When Munchmit's on a hand, you can have Munchmit anytime. Say, Mommy's lost her mind. We just really like the munch mitt. He vomited hardcore on it because he's still got that um, rotavirus. Like, he's still, like, it's, he's better, but it's like he's got, he's, they said he's going to probably be vomity and having poop issues for a couple weeks, right? So, he vomited hardcore on it, so I have to wash it tonight anyway. So, um, yeah, he's just munching his munch mitt in the bath. Do you guys see this? Y'all can see in my reflection how big my other phone is. The Note 4 is huge. This is so little. And then we got the package. It came today. T-Mobile is like, it's not coming today. It's coming tomorrow. It's not coming tomorrow. It's coming today. And it just showed up today. Which it was supposed to come tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know. Um, and then the box said, certified pre-owned used. <laughs> so the phone they gave me, because this is their third time replacing the Note 4, and they said that their policy is they cannot, even though it's under warranty and this is the third time it's been replaced and I've asked for a comparable phone, they cannot give me a comparable phone. That is not how it works. I get another Note 4, but they can't give me another Note 4 because they are on back order. Not on back order from T-Mobile, back order from the manufacturer, meaning they have to make more and they can't tell me when I'm going to get another phone. Now, this one is only working when I vlog at home and when I vlog out sometimes. Barely. Okay, the phone part of it is unreliable. Like it cuts out, it shuts down, sometimes it won't turn back on. So it's, I got rid of everything on the phone, like basic reboot or whatever. And I'm having to use like Wi Fi at home because like the signal thing is not working anymore. I don't know. So the whole phone keeps shutting down. It says that it doesn't have a SIM card, it has a SIM card. Um, but wiping it, I got it to work periodically. There's been several times today I've had to re-vlog what I had just vlogged because it shut down and crashed in the middle of me vlogging. So <laughs> this is supposed to be their answer to, I'm a new mom, I can't be without a reliable phone, and you guys can't send me a replacement. And it's like not even on par with like my phone I have now. And it's used... I hope it's just not damaged. That's what I hope for. I hope I don't have problems with the used phone. No wonder they're like, we'll just send you a free phone until 
the, you know, Samsung makes your new one. You guys. Oh my God. I'm like, okay, I'm lucky that at least I figured out a way to start vlogging again. So I guess I'll put all my phone stuff on this phone because I need that. Like that is the most important thing that I'm able to make a call and stuff when I have Jackson. And I will just use this to vlog as long as it's still working because like, I don't know how the camera is on this. I'll have to see, but I don't know. I just think I'm, this camera is going to be a better quality because it's a higher class on the Samsung. I don't know. It's just, it's like up there. And this nothing wrong with this phone. It's just like a basic phone. So I don't know if the camera quality is going to be the same. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to end the vlog on that note. <laughs> of course they, of course they're like, here's a free phone until Samsung makes your phone. It's certified pre-owned used. I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. But I mean, they 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 had to because Justin was like, "You either get her a phone, or give her a comp up a phone, or do something, or we're ending like our contract with you." And I've been with them since high school, so they were like, "Oh, we'll send a free phone." <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end the vlog. We'll see how this is. I'll let you guys know tomorrow ish. Um, yeah, something will be out tomorrow. All right, bye.